hi everyone uh, in this video I'm going to show you an automation that I have created so uh, in this automation we are going to automate whatsapp template messages within one button click from Airtable so I'm going to show you an use case scenario that I've been using in my business so here you can see I have a custom built uh, Airtable database where I'm saving all my clients invoice and other information so uh, what I was been doing is I was manually sending all the invoices through their whatsapp and or email uh, whenever the time to send it now I made it I am automating that entire process very easily within one button click so for this demo purpose I'm gonna use my phone number my whatsapp number here uh, it should be usually uh, we need to put uh, our clients whatsapp they do have a whatsapp uh, it, it has to be their whatsapp number here so i'm gonna uh, show you the automation i'm gonna click on the send button here so we are triggering a webhook request here so i'm i got a message on whatsapp here you can see status has been updated to send so yeah here is an invoice directly sent from the air table this is a whatsapp template message by the way we are inputting all the uh, variable uh, directly from what we sent from Airtable. So this is what we have sent right now. Let me go with this flow. Let me send this invoice. So here you can see I got another uh, message on WhatsApp. So yeah, all, all the uh, information is been directly sent. You, even the PDF also attached to the WhatsApp template message. So the same will happen with this uh, this uh, automation also. I'm sending it again. Uh, here you can see we have three uh, invoices now. Just now, send it directly from the Airtable. So this is a my use case scenario I was explaining. So if you have your own use case scenario uh, within the button click, you can also add email integration between. You can also send these information or invoices directly from Airtable to your client's email also. That also possible. So let's look at what happening in the backend. In the background, I'm running an automation in Make.com, which is previously known as Intergomat. So oh, we have an. Uh, first module of this scenario is a webhook which has been active and listening to all the requests pulled or sent to this particular webhook uh, here you can see when we hit the um, send button we have an uh, webhook like we have that particular webhook here so every time when we hit on the send button this webhook has been triggered so that's what was what basically happening here then they can uh, go into the air table like we are also sending an uh, web uh, air table record id that is what uh, you know like that is why we have an id here this id is a field it's hidden uh, let me open it up so basically this is a formula field formula block where if you put record id you will get the id of that particular record so I'm just uh, using a function called concatenate to uh, like combine all together. So when you hit on the send button, here you can see we are passing the ID value to the record ID we are sending along with the webhook request. So which is what we are using here. We are looking into that particular record ID where uh, this request has been sent and we are using an uh, HTTP uh, send request protocol like we are sending webhook request to this particular uh, url here you can see i'm using a post request and uh, this is the uh, json we are sending uh, like we are pulling all the information from the air table code and we are just sending through this uh, json format so this is the template i have created on uh, Facebook uh, in WhatsApp uh, it's an approved template where we are putting all the information this is the template uh, it's been sent to uh, my WhatsApp right now as of now so we have a platform where we have the integration we have a custom platform uh, uh, in rapid code we designed for our clients so we have the WhatsApp cloud API so integration this is, this is what we are integrated with so uh, basically what happens is 
we have an inbound web book request here so uh, this uh, web book like from the intro intro go map like we are sending all this information to this particular web book so this is what it looked like so whatever whatever uh, javascript we are uh, sorry not javascript sorry my bad json we are sending from the make uh, it is being captured here in our web book and once uh, something is captured or this web book is triggered uh, we are saving all the required variables in a specific variable we are created in, in our platform and what we are going to do is we are going to send this particular flow we are triggering a particular flow here we are going into our flows we created a, something called whatsapp in, invoice alert so there we have something called uh, notification which is we are using whatsapp template notification so when this uh, flow triggers this automation will take place so here you can see we are sending all the information on the json format all the variable has some value some data which has been directly inputted into this template message so that is how the entire process is happening that is how this entire uh, automation is working so uh, like this uh, like i said if you have if you want to include an email integration in between you can add a module here or after this you can set, set up an email module also so basically from one uh, button click from Airtable, you can automate the entire process. So in my case, I'm sending invoices to my client, so I can send to their email or send to their WhatsApp directly. So with this entire process. So that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any ideas or thoughts or comments, please feel free to uh, comment on this video. And uh, yeah, like I hope this was uh, this was a useful video. And yeah, thank you.